Data visualization is an effective way to communicate your nonprofit's impact. However, it's not always accessible, but today we're going to dive into a very simple way using Google Sheets of how you can create interactive data viz even if you're not a coder. No matter what time of the year, you want to be able to communicate your nonprofit's impact. You can write a whole essay about it, that's great, but why not use visuals when you can? People can process images 60,000 times faster than they can process text, and so that's why images and visualizations have so much more power to convey a message. There's a fancy suite of tools out there that will help you visualize data, um, but we're just going to stick to good old Google Sheets because everyone's got access to it. It's similar to Excel, which is the most used tool for data processing, and the most important thing is you can edit your data so much more easily in the future once your impact increases. So now you've got your data and you've got Google Sheets open, the first step is to figure out the right type of graph to use with your data. Thinking about the goal of your visualization will help you find the right chart for the job. Are you trying to show composition? Are you trying to show relationships between data sets? And there are a lot of creative ways that nonprofits can use the chart types that are offered in Google Sheets. So for instance, if you're trying to show your goal of reaching a million nonprofits or helping a million people, and also showing your progress over the years, you might want to consider using a gauge chart. If you're trying to show your breadth and depth of your programs over the country, you might want to use the map chart. Now that you've plugged in your data and picked the right chart, the next step is to organize and clean the graph that has now been generated automatically by Google Sheets. Some of the questions that you might want to ask at this stage are, do the background lines make sense? Are they necessary? Are they adding value in helping people understand this graph? If not, get rid of it. Another question is, does the sorting make sense? If it's a time series, then obviously you should go in order of year. But if it's not, does it make sense uh, for the, the automatic order to stay in place? You might want to resort how the chart and the graph is displayed. The next step is to move on to editing the labels and the legends so that people understand what's on the x-axis, what's on the y-axis, and what the different colors represent. Now let's move on to the design of the graph that you had just put together. Um, although Google Sheets does not have the best options for manipulating colors and adding your brand colors to the graph, you can still get pretty close by guessing or trying to match the colors as much as you can with the palette that is set. So Google Sheet, if you're watching, we would love the ability to add custom colors to graphs. All you have to do now is publish this chart within Google Sheets, and once you've done that, you can copy the embed code and then paste it onto your site. Embedding this interactive graph in your site is the same exact process is embedding a YouTube video on your site, so you've got this even if you're not a coder. And just like magic, you now have this pretty good data viz on your website. You can assemble a number of these interactive graphs together and tie them with a narrative to tell the story, the impact of your nonprofit. All right, we did it again, Dirtle. I don't get a high five this time, but if you feel like giving us a high five, like Turtle is now changing her mind, don't forget to subscribe to more nutritious tips. is publish this chart by doing, I don't want, I don't remember what to do. There, there's an, uh, I think the, 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 the